Popeye's chips. Okay, that'll be two dollars. Uh, I need my change. Oh, yes, about that. Um, um. What are you doing? Give the kind gentleman his change. Well, sorry, with all due respect, I don't know how to count, uh, specifically money. You don't? Well then, we're going to have to call the Rainbow Math Fairy of Money. <gasps> well, hello there, ma'am. And good day to you, sir. I have been summoned from my magical home of ponies and butterflies to help someone learn to count. That's great. This cashier can't make change. Can you teach him? You insult me. Of course I can. If you want to give the customer their change, you have to count it out of the register. So if they give you a five, and their chips cost two dollars. Yes, two dollars. Then you have to do five minus two, and five minus two is three. Yeah! Thank you so much, I get it now. Glad I could help. Here's your change. Because your chips cost two dollars and you gave me five, you get three dollars. It's about time. Thank you, sir. Come again. That's it for today, kids. Thanks for watching the Rainbow Math Fairy of Money. I'm right here. I was told by my mommy to meet her by my homeroom at 4.30, but I can't read the clock at all. Me neither. Don't worry, little kids. I can help you read the clock. Do you see how the shorthand is past the four? Yeah. What does it mean? Well, that that is the hour hand. And the long one is the minute hand. Do you know how to count by fives? Yep. Well, the numbers on the clock count by five minutes. The long one is past the three, and five plus five plus five equals fifteen. So it is four fifteen. Do you get it? Yeah. I hope so. Let's try another one. If the short hand was past the eight, and the long hand was past the two, on the third little dot in between the two and the three, what time would it be? What are the little dots? They look like <gasps> polka dots. Each one is a minute, so the second dot after the three would be the 17th minute of that hour, because 15 plus two equals 17. Now try it. It would be <gasps> 813, right? Correct. Now you know when to meet your mom by your homeroom. Oh my goodness, it's 425. I have to go. Thank you. Don't be late. Use the clock. You're welcome. I can't tell time. 
What? You can't tell time? No. We will teach you. We will teach you. What is the first step? Oh, you need to look at the hour hand to see what hour it is. Good. That is the first step. Then? You look at the minute hand to see how far into the hour you are. Indeed. For example, it is 10.23. Why, Ben? Why? Because the hour hand is pointing to the 10, and the minute hand is pointing to the 23. Very good. I must be off to show other numbskulls how to tell time. Yay! A pose! A pose! A pose for just 75 cents! I will take three a pose, please. But do you know how much that is? No. How much three seventy five cent apples would be? Huh? No, I don't. I do know that three times seventy five cents is two hundred and twenty five cents. But I don't know what that means in dollars. Hmm. 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 Hello. Hello. Can you help us? Sure. Do you know how much three seventy five cent apples would be? We know that 3 times 75 cents is 225 cents, but what does that mean? Well, one dollar is 100 cents, and there are two groups of 100 and 225. So, there are two dollars plus 25 extra. That means two dollars and 25 cents. Thanks. You're welcome. So, that'll be two dollars, twenty-five cents. Huh, I always thought it was apples. Wow, that sure looked like a yummy cookie. And look, there are exactly four chocolate chips on each side. Eight is my favorite number. Wait, this looks exactly like Avi's cookie. I wonder if... Oh, well, I'm sure he won't mind. Don't eat that cookie! But I want it. No! Yes! No! Yes! <laughs> there is a wise way to solve all of your problems. Yes, please! I'm tired of him eating my cookies. All right. First, you must find the center point of the cookie. Then you will simply draw a line through the center. And since there's four chocolate chips positioned in the exact same spot on each side, you will draw it between each set to create two replicas of each side. Oh yeah, that's easy enough. Uh, uh. Well, hurry up already! I can't. I don't know. I don't know how to find the center point. How do you? How do you know where the center point is for the line of symmetry? Oh, well, that's a great question. I suppose we need to bring in the symmetrical wrapper for some help. I heard my name. Yes, we need you to explain how to find the center point on a two-dimensional figure that will potentially become the line of symmetry. No problem! Here we go! <laughs> symmetry you can always see, and once I explain it, it'll come easily. First find the line in your shape that will make two sides of equal length. Squares can be cut to make equal parts, so can circles, diamonds, and even hearts. Circles can also be cut symmetrical. Any way you cut it, it will be practical. Next, you'll find this vertical line. Yes, split the shape and have to resemble a mirror. Once you've done it, you have completed it. And whenever you want, you can repeat it. Symmetry. What? What? A lot of symmetry. Now you know. Symmetry. What? What? A lot of symmetry. Word. Wow. Symmetry really is fun and helpful. Yeah, all you have to do is draw a line through the chosen center point of a two-dimensional figure and you will create two milling sides. Just as long as all the designs on the shape are similar and both on both sides. This will be sure be helpful when TCAS come along. Wow, that is such a pretty butterfly. I wonder how it got there. It's so pretty and gorgeous that it brings tears to my eyes. Ew! What is that ugly and gross little worm thing? It's so ugly that it brings tears to my eyes. Hey Vlad, what is that ugly thing and how did that butterfly get there? Well, I have no clue on either. 
I don't know how that butterfly got there, nor do I know what that little ugly thing is. Hey, George and Lily, you guys are smart. What is this? And how did this butterfly become so beautiful? Yes, let me know as well. You don't know? Well then, let us tell you. This butterfly was once an egg, small and round. After a little while, it hatched and was larva, a small worm-like baby. Ew, worms? Gross. Brittany, be quiet. I'm trying to listen. Yes, and after it is a larva, it grows up into the pupa. It's like the teenage years of the butterfly. Then the pupa turns into that. Then the caterpillar surrounds itself in a thin silk. Once fully surrounded, it rests in its chrysalis. After some time, it comes out as a butterfly. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yes, that is quite interesting. I agree, but I still don't know how something as ugly as that could become something as pretty as that. Huh, Brittany, I can tell you more while we are studying for the CSAP test. Come on, guys, let's go study. Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 Very good on your 
rubber test. Thanks, Mr. Rell. Well, congratulations. You both got an A plus on your tests, and you two deserve it.
what can I get you? I would like to buy a cheese pizza that is cut perfectly in half and both sides are the same. So you want your pizza to be symmetrical? What's that? Symmetry is when you have a shape. And when a line is drawn to cut it perfectly in half, those sides are congruent or the same. Wait, I'm still confused. I can help. So I have a circle. And if you draw a line exactly down the middle, these two sides are the same. However, in many shapes, there is more than one line of symmetry. For example, I have drawn a line in the middle of this circle. So you can, both sides are equal. Oh, now I get it. Thanks. Yes, I would like my pizza halves to be symmetrical. Thank you. Oh dear, why are you crying? I have no more water in my cup. And if I don't have water, my hair gets really crazy and messy. Oh my, us too. We all need water right away for the sake of our hair. Maybe if we work together, we could find some water. Now, where should we look? Water, water, where are you? We've been looking everywhere. Water, water, save the day. Please prevent our crazy hair. Are you hiding in a cloud or in the ocean blue? There's nothing I would rather have than a drop of you. Are you crashing in a wave, all salty, warm, and wet? In the cloud, a cube of ice, I'll encounter you, I bet. You take so many forms, a cloud, a tear, a rushing river, your snow and ice, a wave, a lake. Please, please come so our hair will not go crazy. Water takes so many forms all over the world. It seems like everywhere we look, there's water. In clouds, the ocean, snow, ice, a tear, rivers, lakes. Rain! Yahoo! The water came to us in the form of rain. Our hair is saved and will stay just the way we like it. Thank goodness for so many forms of water. <laughs>